In this video, I will show you how to do an Active Directory search or Active Directory lookup within a SharePoint workflow using Visual Studio 2008. In this example, I will be using a basic approval workflow, but the same code would work if you were doing a multi-level approval workflow, an escalation workflow, or any other workflow in which you needed to look in Active Directory for information like users or groups. You can find the code download for this video as well as all of my other videos at my blog at sheltonblog.com where you will also find many other videos on how to do development and workflow development in specific with SharePoint 2007. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the basic approval workflow as is defined in the video that I did on how to build a basic approval workflow with Visual Studio 2008 for SharePoint 2007. Walking through how that workflow uh, operated, let me open up this tab here as well. Um, what you can see is that I have an on workflow activated activity in which SharePoint will call uh, whenever it needs to start my workflow. And then I create a, uh, a task with content type using the create task with content type activity to define a, um, a workflow task, uh, which will in this case be end up becoming an Outlook task um, in which I assign the task uh, using hard-coded method to the IT manager in this case to approve a specific uh, 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 to approve a specific expense report in this case. And then after that de definition, I uh, tell SharePoint to go ahead and create the uh, task on the server using the on task created activity. I loop. Uh, in a while statement waiting for the user to approve or in this case the manager to approve or reject the uh, activity using the on task changed activity to monitor um, the changing values in that, that task and then once that's completed I use the uh, complete uh, task activity to tell SharePoint that the, uh, act that the, uh, the, the SharePoint task is completed and then based off of the results of either it was approved or rejected I sent out an email, I defined an email for the approved, I defined one for the rejected, and then I do the send email. And so if I looked at, look at one of the two here, I also, you also see that I hard-coded the uh, from email to the uh, IT manager. Let me go ahead and deploy and run this workflow one time just to show you how it works. So I'll have to deploy and debug button here. Visual Studio 2008 will deploy to my team site and uh, show me the uh, test document to run the workflow again. So here's my test document uploaded by uh, John Doe here. Let's go ahead and pull down the workflow tab. Start the basic approval workflow. The workflow is now in progress. If I click on the in progress tag or tab here it will show that the uh, there's a task assigned to the IT manager for them to review the expense report which is uh, exactly how it should be because I hard-coded the IT manager in as the uh, as the approver of the expense report let's terminate this workflow and what we'll do is we'll switch to using Active Directory to find um, dynamically who the manager of, uh, of the user who uploaded the expense report is First thing we'll do is we'll look at the Active Directory store. So I'm going to go to Administrative Tools, go to Active Directory Users and Computers, and we'll find John Doe. Let's see, here's John Doe. I'll open up John Doe and look on the, organi the Organization tab. I can set a manager for John. So I'll go ahead and change that and make John Doe's manager the IT manager. Hit the OK button. And so now I have a hierarchy of John Doe reporting to the IT manager. Alright, now that that's set, let's switch over to Visual Studio. Now we'll just go ahead and add a little code to uh, 
replaced a hard-coded uh, hierarchy of John Doe to his manager with uh, some dynamic code. So we'll switch over to the code view. First thing I'm going to do, let's go full screen here. First thing I'll do here is add a uh, class level variable for uh, the manager name. So let's go ahead and call it manager name. And next thing I need to do is add the uh, namespace for Active Directory. So let's go here, add reference. We'll add reference to uh, the directory services namespace. So that is system dot directory services. Try that again. Directory services. Go ahead and add that to the list of references here. Let's go ahead and add a using statement. Okay, so now that we have that done, 